Strange but true continues. Claire, Josh, Justin, you had the guard's uniform. <laughs> World peace isn't very sexy. We also have the dummy. Whoa. Where did you pull that from? <laughs> and he has a pacifier. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That looks like uh, David Boone's beer gut there, doesn't it? <laughs> He was a cricketer. <laughs> Looks like a really bad Halloween mask. <laughs> oh, uh, and finally this. And we bring back Megan Washington to the stage. <laughs> Life still goes on. I can't get used to him without him, without him, without you. Okay, can you have a story that connects all these items in a fascinating and humorous way? Someone, so it has authority in it, someone, a security guard of mm. some sort. A Go on. Yeah, the security guard. <laughs> the security guard who has had the worst Botox ever, obviously. I actually think the, um, the hat on the pacifier is a really good clue because it's a hat on a dummy. Right. And uh, I know about a story a prisoner escaped to jail because the guards <coughs> oh, were yes. smart enough yes. to dress up a dummy and put it in the sentry box. Uh, it was actually a South American uh, prison that uh, they, they were understaffed for guards right. and they were actually using mannequins up in the guard tower to make the, the, uh, the prisoners go, oh no, he's, he's a guard. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> Dutch accent ever. <laughs> uh, but there's more to it. Does anyone know what the actual object was? That well, it, was, was it was a it was football, a, wasn't it? Because a film could give you a bit of a hint. What, like bend it like Beckham? No, like, um, like yeah. Castaway. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, volleyball. Yeah. Oh, volleyball. Oh, volleyball. Yep. Oh. That was it, a volleyball. Uh, ten points for them, ladies and gentlemen. Won't help them. <laughs> yes, two inmates have escaped from an Argentinian prison. So short staff they created a dummy guard out of a football in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> staff even called it Wilson after the volleyball in Tom Hanks's film Castaway. But there are lots of positives, as you know, in using a football as a guard. It can't be bribed. It can't be distracted by a shapely female accomplice. On the other hand, it can't shoot at escaping prisoners, chase them, or actually notice them leaving. <laughs> uh, also, Wilson occasionally nods off and bounces down the stairs. The real guards immediately set off after the escapees, leaving the prison under the supervision of a lacrosse stick. <laughs> Uh, what a bizarre sport to choose. Aha, uh -huh, I love it. Uh, but the hunt for the fugitives hasn't gone well, with one police car crashing into a tree. Well, they shouldn't have let Wilson drive. <laughs> the, uh, the matter has now been taken to the prison superintendent, a tennis ball with a moustache called Mr Spaulding. <laughs> Straight into David Jones's fast money. In New Zealand, bank staff burst out laughing when a robber demanded money. What was so funny? It was a child. No, I know this. Yep. Uh, he actually asked for $10. Thank you. And when they said, uh, no, they didn't have change that small, he asked for 50 cents. That's right. <laughs> you know, we don't like to shake things up too much when we're <laughs> robbing banks. Uh, yes, they laughed and he ran away empty-handed. <laughs> In Italy, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi is facing new claims of lurid behaviour and his official residence. What did he do? 
Oh, oh, pull. Oh, oh, you're so winning it. You're winning yep, it. Yep, okay. Uh, he, he, he got in the bed with uh, four women who were described as having loose virtue or something like that. He basically had a four way? No. <laughs> That's four a five some? way, isn't it? Four, yeah, we have four chicks in. Yeah, he had a, you must had a golf course. Right. I, think, <laughs> I said, I'm going to throw this last one open. In Ontario, police have arrested a man who broke into a house and removed woodworking tools and machinery. What did the cheeky crook do with his bounty? He made a little boy that came to life. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't you come on eBay? Oh, well, very close. Did he knock on the door and offer to sell them back to the people who owned the house? Very close. He sold them on eBay to the people in the house. Uh, I don't think we're going to get it. He held a garage out of the front yard of the house, making about $45,000. <laughs> That's the way to do it if you're a robber. Uh, in the Botox clinic tonight, Mikey Robbins, Kenny Flanagan and Taika Waititi scored a youthful 105 points. Uh, stiffing, Claire Hooper, Josh Thomas and Justin Hamilton on 78 points. But the show tonight, I'm sure you will all agree, goes to our defender of the faith, our good friend, our momentary star, Bob. Bob. And now hopefully he won't sue. 10.com.au slash GNW is the place to get the podcast, see the director's cut, or make an appointment to experience the magic fingers of Josh Thomas. <laughs> so we say thank you and good night, John Cleary, and leave you with the good news for the week ahead. The Commonwealth Bank will announce its full year results. Profits are up, customer satisfaction is down, and all is right with the world. <laughs> On Wednesday, Ramadan begins, and on Thursday we begin a month of abstinence from 80s girl groups. Banana Ramadan. <laughs> Madonna will turn 52, although she doesn't look a day over 40 thanks to her children's plasma. Oh. <laughs> For all good Catholics, it's the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Basically, her assumption was that it must have been God rather than Joseph slipping it in while she was asleep. <laughs> Uh, George Michael will face charges of being unfit to drive after allegedly crashing his car into a shop front. To be fair, he's not used to using that entrance. <laughs> and in Sydney, Prime Minister Gillard will address a business lunch. I'd be careful of her when she's got a knife in her hand. <laughs> oh!